Want an even more in-depth look at the toy in this review? An entire gallery of images can be found at Toy News International. Just click the link in this video's description. Dudes, Michelangelo here from the original Ninja Turtles, and you are about to watch a very cool Ninja Turtles review by Pixel Dan right here. All right, Turtle Power! Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Classic Collection, Bebop. That's right, Shredder's bumbling henchman duo are finally getting a release in the TMNT Classic Collection from Playmates Toys. So let's go ahead and take a look at Bebop. He comes packaged in that same style Classic Collection blister card packaging, which is very reminiscent of the vintage TMNT action figures, complete with the brick wall bursting out in the background. The back side of that packaging gives us some animated drawings of Bebop, Rocksteady, and the Four Turtles. Shows us some photos of all of those action figures. And even gives us bios on the Four Turtles and Bebop and Rocksteady. So let's go ahead and take a look at Bebop right outside of the packaging. Now if you already saw the Rocksteady review, we've got the same thing to discuss with Bebop here. You might remember that all four turtles that came out were based on the way they appeared in the classic TMNT cartoon series. Many fans were expecting Bebop and Rocksteady to follow suit, but instead what we're getting here is a bit of an updated or hyper detailed stylized version of Bebop instead of the way he appeared in the cartoon series. This might be turning some fans off because they were expecting to get cartoon accurate versions, but let's go ahead and take a look at the sculpt nonetheless. You notice the way he's shaped here, he's got a much more bigger, almost more realistic warthog looking head. It's got a really nice sculpted detail there in the face, and you can see he's got the large teeth sticking out of his mouth, he's got a nice teeth gritting grimace on his face. He is wearing his trademark purple visor glasses, and he's got that nice purple mohawk going right across his head there, and he even has the ring in the front of his nose. Now his body is much larger than Rocksteady, so it's not shared parts, which is really nice. You can see that he's much beefier than the more lean Rocksteady there. He does have some turtle shell shoulder pads, which are separate pieces, but they are permanently glued onto the figure. The red vest that he's wearing, along with the bone and teeth on his necklace and the strap across his chest, and the grenades attached to his red vest, are all part of the torso sculpt, so they're hard plastic and they are non-removable. Below that, you'll see that he's got a pair of jeans on that are held up by a nice silver chain around his waist, and he's even wearing a pair of red high tops. So the paintwork on this figure is very nicely done. He's bright and colorful, and all of the paint is very clean. And the sculpt on this guy is really good, regardless of the fact that he doesn't appear as he did in the cartoon series. Alright guys, let's go ahead and take a closer look at Bebop here. We're gonna go ahead and run down the articulation on this guy, and if you already saw my Rocksteady review, you pretty much know what to expect here, because this guy's got all of the same points as Rocksteady, and he's missing the same points as Rocksteady. So let's take a look. Because of his big hunched over back here, the head's actually kind of on the front, which means his joint is only really gonna allow his head to move left and right there. Just kinda rocks left and right. Uh, it slightly moves up and down, but you're really not gonna get a lot of posing out of his head there. He's got nice ball joints at the shoulders, and you can see he's got these little turtle shell shoulder pads, but they allow for the movement in his arms. So you can still move his arms all the way up, forwards, backwards, the shells don't hinder the movement, which is really nice. Swivels at the bicep there, great double joints at the elbows, you got swivels at the wrist, as well as hinge joints at the wrist, so a great range of motion all through the arm. He's got stationary fingers. The finger joints are gone that we had on the turtles, uh, so just like Rocksteady, he gets a better grip on his weapons, which is something that I really like about this guy. 
Now his torso here, uh, the red vest, all of the bandolier, the grenades, everything is sculpted onto that torso. So it's very hard and rigid and it does hinder the movement just a little bit. He's ball jointed at the waist or at the torso there. Uh, but as you can see, he kind of bumps a little bit because of his shirt. So you can't really turn his waist left and right very good like you can with Rocksteady. But he does move up and down. He rocks kind of around there just like that. He's got ball joints at the thigh, so the legs can uh, move forwards and backwards. They don't move outwards very well because of the way the legs are sculpted, but you can still move them forwards. You can get them in decent sitting pose. Uh, you can swivel the legs around right there also with those ball joints. you got double joints at the knees there, so the knees have a good range of movement, and he's got swivels at the ankles. Now, just like Rocksteady, he is also missing an actual ankle joint, which means his feet are stuck flat. So, again, this is going to hinder the movement on this guy because even though he's got a great range of motion in his legs and the rest of his body, the only way you're going to get him to stand is flat like this. Um, so that's really the only downfall. I, I, if there was an ankle joint on here, I would pretty much say these guys are perfect as far as articulation goes, but that's really the only bummer with this particular guy. Now, as far as accessories go, Bebop here doesn't include quite as many as Rocksteady, but he does have some. First up, he's got this cool little drill-tipped gun, which is a cool nod to the vintage Bebop action figure, which had a gun that looked very much like this. Now, it's all molded in just kind of like a grayish gunmetal color plastic, so there's no additional paint deco here. But both of Bebop's hands are molded with a trigger finger, so he can hold this gun firmly in either one of his hands. And also included, just like with all of the other classic collection figures, we get a sewer lid display base, complete with Bebop's name printed on it. It features two foot pegs that fit snugly on his feet, which also help to keep him standing, since he doesn't have any foot or ankle articulation. Alright guys, it's comparison time! Here's a look at Bebop standing alongside his vintage counterpart. That way you can get a good idea of both the scale and the style difference between the two action figures. And here he is standing alongside a turtle figure from the classic collection to give you an idea of the scale between the two. You'll notice that they stand about the same height. Bebop looks a little more hunched over, but that's mostly because of the way he's got the hunched back and the way his head is molded. But he is much beefier, especially the way Rocksteady compared to the Turtles. Bebop does look a lot bigger and muscular than the Turtles do. So there you go, guys. There's a look at the brand new TMNT Classic Collection Bebop. Again, this is going to be one of those things where fans are going to either love him or they're going to be a little disappointed that he didn't look exactly as he appeared in the cartoon series like they may have been expecting. But the sculpt we did get is pretty good, and to be honest, it's really growing on me. I was one at first who was a little disappointed that they didn't look like they did in the cartoon series, but now that I've really had him in hand and played around with him a little bit, I'm getting used to the style, and I think it's really great having brand new action figures of these classic characters. And it's also really great to finally be getting some new additions to the TMNT Classic Collection on my toy shelf. Both Bebop and Rocksteady should be hitting store shelves within the next month here, so happy hunting, and until next time.